Okay everybody, I'm at the launch of the new Citroen C3 Air Cross. Oh, they call it SUV, I'm gonna call it crossover, right? Because it is a crossover size. But, well, nonetheless, they have four colors. The white is over here, there's a blue over there, and then a red, and then a sand color. That's a new, interesting color that they call sand. Anyway, let's go through the design details. Now, we all know that Citroen design some really interesting cars over the years right they've always been quirky they've always put in more effort in their designs and i would say i really like how the uh, uh, the mainstream european brands or if i may call them mainstream right uh, citron used to make really amazing cars uh, back then but then of course now the positioning is slightly different uh, they put in their efforts and the passion in making mass market cars now, you may thought that would be the headlamp, but that's the daytime running lights. The headlamps are down there. It's a very interesting approach. And you see more and more car makers copying this approach, right? They split the daytime running lights and the headlamps, and it makes the whole front end looks that much more interesting, all right? And of course, that's the classic Citroen Chevron, and then they merge that all the way towards the end with the daytime running lights, okay? And in the front there, you see those little holes over here look at that those are unique okay the lights are I couldn't let me zoom in a little bit more sorry if I don't have I haven't recovered from my loss of voice all right even the wheels look different look at the wheels look at the design of the wheels interesting right now the whole proportion of the car I would say in terms of size is very very similar to a mini countryman Right, it's, it's very similar in size to the Mini Countryman and Citroen told us that it has more interior room than the HRV. It has more luggage room than the HRV. That's a bold claim because the HRV has always been the largest in the segment and they are so ubiquitous now, right? They're everywhere. So you're looking at cars about this price range, right? 115,000. There are not a lot in this price range. Uh, you have of course this one then you have the hrv and then uh cx3 yes but the cx3 is about 130 over right it's like twenty thousand ringgit more expensive and then uh, uh in terms of size the cx3 is a more compact approach more sportier approach all right now let's look at the interior of the car that's where french cars always excel right they design very very good looking interiors and they're all very very functional these are the speaker grills okay that's the door handle and look at the molding of this yes the whole thing is hard plastic but it's actually the the type where you feel high quality i mean don't believe that everything soft means it's good all right and they have a unique mixture of materials sorry right? these are fabric but the patterns are different these are there are some stitches over here but this is a soft touch plastic and this is large the bin over here it's large you can put your bottles in there okay now look at the aircon vents see even this part they have a mixture of materials, soft touch over here, hard, you know, very nice interior. And uh, French cars has always been very, very comfortable. Uh, that remains the same with Peugeots or Renaults and of course Citroëns. As we know, Citroëns, uh, they invented the hydro um, suspension, right? So they were the first ones who did that and then um, their cars has always been comfortable. Now this con will love this. Those who love fabric seats, you know, if you don't want, you go into your car and then you feel all the heat and all that. Fabric seats is for you. But for me, I have sensitive nose, so um, no. All right, that's for me. They have this screen that feels like a standalone screen. It's designed that way, but it's in the middle, below this aircon vents. And they even colored these little boys here, right? They feel interesting to operate. The whole thing is just looks really quirky, but it's not hard to use. Everything is very straightforward, right? Some nice setting chrome over here. You have a knob for the volume. And uh, we've used their interface before. It's very straightforward, very user-friendly. And then you have Apple CarPlay, you have Android Auto, MirrorLink. You have all those with you, the stuff that you like, you know, listening to your music and all that. Start button is over here. That's a gear shift indicator. It's a weird place, but it's functional, right? You have your gear lever over here. That's the sport button. That's the snow button. So that adjusts the um, the power delivery. 
so that you don't wheel spin that much in the snow. And then you have a gear lever that is very comfortable to operate. It takes up quite some space, but it's not the usual batang type, right? So this is nice. All right, a, a very, they call it the, uh, the, the like an aircraft or something, but nonetheless, it's a more comfortable way of releasing your parking brake, okay? Steering wheel, flat bottom over here. And uh, like I said, if you're fat, you need that. But then there's a lot of space in this car. This car feels very, very roomy, okay? And the buttons are large, nice plastics. Everything feels good. Everything feels good about this car. Now, traditional analog dials, but you see that? They design it. They put in some effort to design it. And I always like a mixture of materials. So the whole design approach with the interior is very lively, very vibrant. And uh, I like car, I like it when car makers do that. You know, it shows that they put in effort. This is the cruise control stock. For first-time users, you may not feel like, hey, why is it there? No, I can't see what is it going on. But trust me, um, a week into it or a few days into it, you would have been able to operate it perfectly well. Okay. So there's the uh, headlamp height adjuster over there. There's a little slot here for you to put your carts and. Uh, Stuffs are over there. Okay materials. Uh, there are no vanity lights over here, but uh, you get a cut holder, and then there are no sharp edges with the uh, the molding and all that. So those are all right. Uh, it's a pity that they are not able to spec in the panoramic roof. Some people may like it, some people not. Some people don't like it, but uh, I'm a fan of panoramic roofs. So. Visibility. Visibility is excellent from the driver position. Okay, you have uh, it's mounted on the doors, and then the air pillars are pushed all the way there, and it comes up here. So there's very, very good visibility all around. I'm sitting in the front passenger seat. You can see that I have a palm of headroom, and the whole car just feels extremely roomy. Okay, and I get an armrest. And some compartment over here. Sorry, it's a bit dark. Ah, they've moved the fuse box away. So French cars, they've always have a fuse box over there, right? That, so this has been moved away. So let's go to the back now. All right, this is where the interesting part is, right? You are able to recline the seats. I'm sorry if it is a bit dark, but uh, no choice. Okay. So... Uh, so this is how I sit in this car, okay. Again, a palm of headroom and a very ample knee room for a car of this size, okay. Now, the uh, HRV feels like you have more leg room, right? The HRV feels like you have more leg room because with this car, you'll be able to, oh, am I able to operate it one-handed? Mm. There must be a little short lever down here. Now I'm gonna explore it later. But nonetheless, you can drop the middle one down and it doubles as a cup holder and it has full width seats over there. Oh, you get this for this segment. I don't think you have this in this segment, right? A rear blind, that's pretty nice. And then you get some deep cubby space. This is a bit intrusive, the speaker, but it's deep. You can put a lot of stuff in there. And this is, oh, they call it some Venetian blind, but it's a unique design touch. You only get this orange bits with the white color and the sand color. So you can see that the roof rails over there. In, in orange color, it's only available in the white and the sand color. Boot space is 520 liters. You have a false floor. Oh, sorry, it's very dark. Hey, Samsung, I thought you can show more in the dark sorry so uh, I'm gonna show another car later okay and you have this 3d effects with the rear lights overall the whole car is very quirky uh, very comfortable when I even sit on uh, the seats they all feel very very comfortable all right later on I will try to see where should I touch and pull where should I molest the car to uh, Release everything, <laughs> unleash the Kraken, <laughs> so to speak. All right. Oh, you can slide the rear seats. 
So this is the blue one. So uh, we've seen right the exterior design and all that. So the blue color and the red color, you get black roof rails, right? So only even the even the roof rails, they put in effort to design it, right? Chrome door handles. So I guess this too, they design it with a more classier approach, right? The doors open pretty wide. Okay, look at the front. Look at the two doors. Okay, so ingress and egress is not an issue at all. Even though this is not a large car by footprint, okay, in terms of footprint, it is not a large car. One thing I noticed why is it so comfortable? You have a very wide seat back for your shoulders, all right? So, blue, white, red, sand. Which one you prefer? Later, we'll go have a look at the other colors, huh? So, it's a little bit brighter here. So, again, this segment, European car. Uh, I don't think you get power seats and the lights. I really like the fact that the seats are very wide, suitable for someone like me. And most seats would have tapered off here. This one gives you full support on your shoulder, the wing of your shoulder, which is, I mean, for long journeys. Very good. Like the colors? Let's have a look at the red one. So that's the red one. Do I get more light here? <laughs> no, <laughs> just as dark. All right. So yeah, I mean interior is the same. They spec it in the same way. That's the sand color, but I, of course through the screen you won't be able to tell uh, too big of a difference between the sand color and the white color. But uh, it's pretty nice uh, under the sunlight in real life. It looks pretty nice. A unique color. Some people might perceive it as beige or something. But uh, yeah, sand, red, blue, and white. Yep. So uh, that's Bing. She's hungry. <laughs> so yeah. So what are my thoughts for one hundred fifteen thousand? This is a very very good price for a European. Um, I wouldn't use the word premium. That's not their position. They've never positioned it as a premium car, but they give you something unique, something quirky, and then uh, you feel special driving it. It's the kind of car that you feel special driving it. So yeah, something different, something not the same as all your neighbors, right? All your neighbors would have a HRV or a CX-3, things like that. And when you park this next to a mini countryman, I don't see how, uh, how, oh, look at that. I just noticed this. Even the fuel, fuel cap, they even put in effort to design the fuel cap so that... Look at that, only the French, huh? Only the French would do something like that. Pretty interesting. Alright, so uh, you go check it out yourself. Oh, this is the one that I've been molested, molesting just now. Parcel shelf. Oh, the puzzle shell feels good, but it's too dark. I'm sorry, it's too dark over here. All right, guys, that's about it. So that's the new Citroen C3 Aircross. Ah, pictures. We have pictures. Peer review. All right, there you go. Cheers.